Hi there, Amanda here with another video about somatics for drivers. Now this is a follow-on from the video I made last week uh, which was all about the somatic movements that you can do whilst you're in the car seat. Now if you haven't seen that video, the link is in the description box, so go ahead and have a look. Um, what I noticed when I was looking back at the video was how much the car seat kind of held me like a brace in place and consequently my posture was um, created differently because of it. So let's go and take a look at that picture so I can explain what I mean. So as you can see while I'm in the car seat, the car seat is slightly leaning back and the placement of the headrest, and believe me I've tried that headrest in various different places, but the placement of the headrest means that my head is um, leaning forward slightly. If you could trace my spine and going from the bottom it's, it's going upwards at a slant and then it rounds up and in and then my head's further forwards. So I recreated that um, image of myself with a little drawing on my iPad. Now if we look at that, it kind of highlights really what's happening. The red lines of my bones, that blue arrow is pointing to the area that is the main issue. And if I recreate that here, I'm leaning back in the car seat and I'm looking forwards through the windshield and consequently this area here is the area that is kind of getting stuck. However, that's not really the major area to focus on. So here's what I do when I've been in the car for a long period of time like that, or you could it could be after a, a long flight or even a short flight, or it could be after long periods of desk work. So now you can see more of me. Hope you can still hear me. So I want you to, to be aware, if you're doing this along with me, I want you to be aware of this area here, the abdominals, the belly. And then we're going to recreate that posture. So if we do it from the side, leaning back slightly, and then allowing the head to come forward as if you're looking through the windscreen and driving. Now, what do you notice about this area here? It's all squished in. This is the area that contracts and shortens in order to create that posture. So let's have a little recap on some of the somatic principles that tells us how we can address this. The first thing is, if there's an issue in the body, do more of what the body's already doing. That might seem like Mm -hmm. Why am I doing that? So I do more. Now I can sense the contraction. I'm slightly exaggerating that posture, not to a point where it's sore or painful, but I'm more aware now. I'm sending a message to my brain that this area is now in contraction. Once we've alerted the brain to that contraction, it's then easier to start to slowly release and unfold from that contraction. Take a pause at the end of the movement, at the end of that releasing, and allow the brain to notice the difference in posture. So you might notice a lengthening, you might notice a freeing, you might notice differences in the shoulders, the back of the head. So then we'll do that two or three more times. So we shorten through the front of the body, the back rounds, the head comes slightly forwards, sensing that contraction through the front, then we're going to slowly release from that contraction and pause. Now the release is a non-doing, it's not a pushing up and out, it's a non-doing. And now we can extend that a little further. So we shorten and contract, slowly release from the centre, and then once we've found that neutral place, take an in-breath to shorten through the back, squeeze slightly the shoulder blades together, 
So now the front is lengthened out even more. Release the shortening of the back, back to neutral, and pause. So we're not lengthening by pushing back, we're taking our awareness into the muscles in the back of the body and actively and consciously shortening the muscles in the back of the body and then releasing them. Now we can add something more to that as well, arms down by the side. Let's go back to the, that slump position. So exhaling and sinking in the middle, rotate the arms inwards as well and it brings the shoulders a little bit more forwards. As you inhale and release, begin to rotate the arms and the shoulders outwards up to neutral. You can take a pause in the breath here if you want. And when you're ready to inhale, shorten through the back of the body and rotate the arms outwards to draw the shoulder blades further together. And then slowly release back to neutral. So that is the movement sequence that I would do to help release that, that posture of head jutting forwards. Even better, I prefer to do it lying down. And this is what it looks like. So David starts by going the opposite way to what we've just done, inhaling, shortening through the back and rotating the arms out. Chin might roll slightly inwards. And on the exhale, coming through neutral into shortening all the way through the front, rolling the arms in and allowing the head to rock back as well. And then slowly releasing back to neutral. So as I said before, this is really great if you've been stuck in a place in terms of your body, uh, driving a car, or if you've been on a long flight, or if you've done a lot of desk work and not taken a break. Ideally, take lots of breaks so that you don't get so stuck in the posture. But these movements are great to really help release. Once you're not having to be in that brace of either the car seat or the plane seat or the desk job, once you can be free from that, these movements are really great to release that tension. Remember, do more of what the body's already doing first to alert the brain to the contraction, slowly release out of it, and take a pause so the brain can catch up and notice what the new resting position is. So if you want to find out more about any of those movements, stay tuned because in September I'm releasing my five day challenge again and it's all about freeing the shoulders from the whole aspect of desk work or driving or whatever. It's how the neck and the shoulders can get into that fixed position. And we'll run through a lot of those movements, breaking them down so that each day you learn a little bit of something else from somatics, put them all together after five days and boom, you're free. <laughs> so if you want to find out more about that, if you sign up to the newsletter, where there's also a link in the uh, comment box, then I'll be notifying people on the newsletter early September so that you can catch up on that too. Do let me know in the comments as well if you've tried these movements along with me and let me know how it goes for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.